Hello everybody, welcome to Gloomhaven Journal number 7. Today we have the four skins, we have a new quartermaster in the party after um, the Inox Brute Briz retired last time. He's starting off at level 2. We are in Gloomhaven. So, let's do a city event. Oh no, the city is under attack. Alarms are sounding. Um, geez, we better uh, go to the aid of the defense of the city. Um, actually, wouldn't it be a tragedy if we stole your shit while the guards are distracted? That's totally what we did. Um, yeah, this worked out. The, the town was um, defending themselves. We were off stealing all their shit. We gained an item design. We didn't lose any reputation because... Uh, we didn't have enough to lose. Not bad. Well done, everybody, for stealing the good people's stuff. Today, we will be going to the Savas Armory. Um, on our way there, we will encounter a road event. What is this? A trade caravan passes by and... Oh, who is this? It's a familiar face. Could it be our old friend, the Brute? Well, it is. He comes over and greets us merrily and asks us to travel with him just for a little while and catch up and reminisce about all the, the good old days. All right, we'll indulge him. Instead, he just dicks around and wastes our time. Um, basically, he's mega depressed since he quit the Four Skins. Um, he went off to become a merchant and perhaps it's not doing it for him. Um, and as a result, he sapped our strength and our energy and our will to live. And we will start the scenario with three cards less. Thanks a fucking bunch, you Iron Ox dick. To the Savas Armory. Um, okay, so the deal, what was the deal here? So, this is an interesting one. We started down here all these spots with A on them is basically our escape path. So <clears throat> we had to come in through this door, we had to kick it down. Um, yeah, come come through, beat up some of these guys into this main room where um, the, there's four pressure plates. So we each had to stand on a pressure plate in order to open the final door um, and then uh, loot all of these gold chests, so nothing in the chest, just just completing the, the mission. Oh, after that, we actually had to escape as well, so we had to run in there, nab that shit, and get all the way back through to the back, um, all the while um, dealing with a couple of like extra spawned um, elite enemies as well. Also, we started with three less cards. Also... These guys are fucking badasses. Look at this. 18 health, poison and wound on the elite side. Um, fucking nasty. The other guys, they're nasty as well. Pierce, shield, 15 health. Fucking ranged. Yeah, they were nasty. Um, this was pretty tricky considering it was basically a race and that we were down three cards. We, oh, we're off to an incredibly bad start with... Um, a bunch of misses and basically just ham fisting the first couple of turns uh, but we did manage to to pull through and what we did was um, continuing our, our quest basically we got these party achievements the worst treasure the drake is treasure uh, um, that was it so we'll go back to town Back to town. Um, yep, yeah, buying some loot and so on. And then we decided to come down to the Shrine of the Depths, which is carrying on um, our quest chain from the voice. <clears throat> not the John Farnham voice, the other voice. All right, <clears throat> but not before. City events, hooray. Uh, we're in the market and we see some Valrath merchant with a scroll. 
and he, you know, delightfully wants to sell us the scroll or the map. And we go, fuck yes, we want that map. And it's a damn good thing we want that map because we had to pay some cash, but we unlocked a scenario, the sunken vessel. It's actual sunken treasure. It's over here. Sunken vessel, how cool is that? Only we can do it. Those filthy blunder boys cannot do it because we have the party achievement to do it. Suck in those guys. On our way to the Shrine of the Depths, we encountered a strange flying bird noise. More birds in the sky? No, it's a crash landing quattrel in some kind of gyrocopter. He falls out of it and starts rabbiting on to us, asking us to do things and fix his vessel, or fix his, his thing. We decide to do option B, which is explain yourself, quattrel. We're not just gonna help you willy-nilly. What the fuck is going on? And that was a good thing that we did. We just tell him to basically shut up. We'll help him uh, bring his gyrocopter back to town. And we gained a town prosperity. Yay, that's really good. That brings us to three. All right. We're at the shine of the depths. What do we need to do? We need to loot a treasure tile. This treasure tile is in a friggin' massive room full of lurkers, full of deep ones, full of rivers. Anyway, we came in through the bottom, bashed up some slimes, pretty easy. Into the main room, bunch of lurkers, bunch of deep ones. Um, basically, we just had to get and loot this treasure tile. That's all we needed to do. We didn't have to kill everything, um, but we pretty much did anyway. This was a lot easier than the um, than the Savas Armory. Uh, so we did that. Um, there was a special rule, which we fucked up, but it kind of didn't really matter. We, we didn't realize there was a second page here. So the special rule was the treasure tile could only be looted with an actual loot action, which is a bit of a weird rule, but that's what it said. Um, we didn't know that. We could have easily done that. So we're, we're just carrying on. We're not going to fucking dick ourselves for forgetting to read, uh, forgetting to read the rules. So maybe the uh, blunder boys will disagree, but whatever okay that unlocked for us um basically the, oh yeah um we found out more about the voice uh from some quattrel crazy person again and they were reading to us from some manuscripts and telling us no the voice it's evil don't do what it says it's going to rain corruption down on the world we're probably going to do what it says so the voice is now compelling us to come back to it, but don't bring that scepter you just got. That would be bad for me. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but I'm still not sure what we're going to do yet. All right, so we've got some party achievements and we unlocked a new location, Realm of the Voice, and a little bit of gold. I'll go to the Realm of the Voice, that's over here, up in the top. Um, yep, we may go there to finish finish that off. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so that was all for the scenarios. I will show you where the party is at. Um, okay, party members. Backfire level five. Actually, I'll go to N2H1. Let's have a look. So backfire level five. Whole bunch of perks, fucking level four abilities and stuff. Leveling like a maniac, good on him. Uh, we have the Tinkerer, played by myself. Um, just got level four at the end of the last one, plus perks. Going pretty well, liking that class, it's nice. Brizzed is the retired retiree who dicked us. Fuck you, Briz. Um, we have Ivy, who just hit level four. As well and we have the new guy Moyle don't google it who is our quartermaster um, he just hit level 3 by virtue of the town being level 3 um, so he's just sitting there with some abilities a couple of perks 
Good job, everybody. Town shit. Level one town items have not changed. Um, the unlocked items over here. Um, we've got one new one, which is the frigid blade down in the boat. Stop moving. In the bottom right, which is pretty damn cool. I really like this. There's two of them here. Consume frost to do a bigger attack, and it doesn't even tap. How good is that? I'm gonna pick that up. I reckon. Um, that was the reward we got from stealing from the town while they were um, under attack. So, yeah. Poor moral choices lead to epic loot. Prosperity level 2 items have not changed. But now we have prosperity level 3 items. Yay! Um, the bottom one there, moon earring, looks cool. During your turn, refresh all your spent items. Sure. Sounds alright. Um, yeah, a couple of other things. I'll let you decide on that. Uh, and that's pretty much where we're at. So the next time around, it'll be the Blunder Boys. So, until then, until then.